Hey there, and thanks for enrolling in Getting Started with WordPress, an online course by the Clickstarter. In this lesson, we'll learn about what you need to start a WordPress site on your own. First, it's important to note that there are two different versions of WordPress. The first version, available at WordPress.org, is a software package, which you download and install on a web server. This is also known as the self-hosted version and it is the version that we will be referring to for the rest of this course. The second version found at WordPress.com is a service that you can sign up for to create your blog. These two different versions have many of the same features, but here are some of the key differences of the self-hosted WordPress.org software with the WordPress.com service. The WordPress.org version is a do-it-yourself solution where you need to download and install WordPress on your own server. The WordPress.com version only requires you to sign up with an email address. Although it is slightly more complex to set up, the WordPress.org version is more flexible and allows you to build blogs, regular websites, membership, and even e-commerce websites. The WordPress.com version only allows you to build blogs and websites. You can completely customize your self-hosted WordPress site while you are limited if you choose WordPress.com. Finally, by installing and hosting WordPress yourself, you completely own your website and content. On the other hand, your WordPress.com blog needs to abide by their terms of service. One of the biggest setbacks to this is that smaller blogs are not allowed to display advertising on WordPress.com. If you are intending to create a professional website or blog, I highly recommend that you do not use WordPress.com. Instead, take the time to install the WordPress software yourself on your own web server. We show you how to do this in the upcoming lessons. It's actually not that difficult and your website or blog will have more flexibility in the long term. Or if you prefer, we will install WordPress for you at no charge. So please remember, when we refer to WordPress in this course, we mean the self-hosted version from WordPress.org. To create a WordPress website, you need three ingredients. First is the WordPress software. WordPress is the engine that produces the web pages on your website. Web pages are what visitors see in their web browser when they visit a site. All web pages are written in HTML code. Luckily, you don't need to learn HTML code if you use WordPress. WordPress will generate the HTML code for your website automatically. WordPress and the pages that it produces need to reside in a special computer called a web server. Web servers are connected to the internet 24 hours a day so that visitors can view your website at any time of the day wherever in the world they are. When a website resides on a web server, we say that the website is hosted on the web server. Think of web servers as office buildings. Just like how there are multiple businesses in an office building, a web server can host more than one website as well. Most businesses don't need to own the entire office building. And in the same way, you don't need to own the whole web server either. You merely need to rent a small space on the web server, and you can do that from a web hosting company. Web hosting plans start from roughly $60 to $100 a year. Be aware that web servers run on different operating systems. The most popular server operating systems are Linux and Windows Server. While you may be more familiar with Windows on your computer, the server version is quite different, and WordPress works better with Linux, so we recommend going with Linux servers. Domain names are the addresses that tells visitors where to find a website. Think of the domain name as a mailing address to your website on the web server. The most common domain names are .com, .net, or .org, but there are also country-specific ones like .co.uk, .eu, and exotic ones like .me and .fm. Domain names are registered through a registrar, and common domain names cost approximately $10 to $15 each year. Choose a domain name that is relevant to your business or blog topic. Unfortunately, many of the good ones have already been registered by someone else, so you may need to add a qualifier. 
For example, instead of janedo.com, you may have to choose janedomusic.com. Now you understand how WordPress, a web server, and a domain name all fits together. Here are the three steps you need to launch your very own WordPress website. Step 1. Sign up for a web hosting plan. The web host we recommend is Bluehost because they provide great value for money and they are recommended by WordPress.org. They also provide a free domain name. If you don't want to sign up for Bluehost, make sure to view the lesson notes to get a web server with the correct specifications. Step 2. If you didn't get a free domain name with Bluehost, you will need to register one yourself. Make sure that you choose a domain name that is consistent with your business name and branding. The registrar we recommend is hover.com. Step 3 is to install WordPress. Bluehost and other web hosting companies offer a simple one-click installation of WordPress. View the lessons on installing WordPress to learn how to install WordPress yourself. You can also use our WordPress Click Start service to have us install WordPress for you absolutely free. Terms and conditions apply. Please, do take the time to create your own WordPress website. We would love for you to follow along on your own site in the rest of the lessons. See you in the next lesson. I hope you found this lesson useful. We provide additional content and a support forum to registered members at clicktolaunch.net. Sign up for a free membership by visiting this link.